Hey everyone, I'm Kara Suboy, CNET.com, joined by senior writer Daniel Turdeman. And Hello. just a few months ago, Daniel wrote a fascinating story about this kid who was squatting, yes, squatting at AOL. Let's start from the beginning, Daniel. How did you find out about this kid? Uh, I was in a meeting with a VC down in Silicon Valley, and uh, the CEO that the VC was meeting with knew the kid and had put him up as an, for uh, an internship at the VC firm and he just was like, you know, hey, do you remember that kid that I told you about who was living at AOL? And then they went on in their conversation and I was like, hey, that sounds interesting. And so yeah. I, I contacted the CEO after that meeting and was like, hey, do you think you'd be willing to introduce me to the, to the kid? And I, I didn't really think it would go far because it seemed like something that they wouldn't want to talk about. Sure. But the kid was actually kind of trying to raise money and he was interested in publicity, so he talked to me and told me his story, and it was, uh, you know, it was a lot of fun. Now, briefly, uh, give us his story. How many months was he living at AOL? And I believe it was two months that he was there, and this was in his, uh, AOL's Palo Alto uh, headquarters, or not headquarters, but their offices in, in, in Palo Alto. And he had, he had been part of an incubator that was in the building, so he had a, a basically a badge that you know let him in and out of the building, and sure. uh, he just decided it would be sort of like a personal challenge to. <laughs> To, to stay there and get by on as little money as he could and so he found some couches that he could hide on at night so he'd basically work all day he was really doing real work building his his company and uh, he'd just work these long hours and then when everybody else would leave the building he'd like go to his couch and s spend the night and he was eating the food in their kitchens and, and showering at the gym I yep. think I read and yeah he kept his stuff in, in the lockers in the gym and so I mean he, he got away with it for a couple of months until finally they caught him that's pretty incredible. And when we say kid, he's really what in his twenties. He was. I think he was. I think he was nineteen or twenty when it, when it happened. And what's he doing now? I mean, he obviously was found out, so he's no longer able to squat there. Yeah, I mean, he was trying to build this startup as a in the education uh, business, and I think he raised a, a little bit of money, enough money to uh, go get an actual house to live in. <laughs> um, and so, you know, last time I talked to him, he was trying to raise maybe like a half a million dollars to you know keep the business going. Um, and that hasn't happened yet, as far as I know. But uh, you know, he, he's a he's a you know an entrepreneur with Moxie, so he's uh, you know I think a lot of people were you know watching him and seeing what he was up to. Absolutely, that kind of tenacity has got to be rewarded at some point. Definitely. Fascinating. Well, we look forward to the update when yep. you hear more from Eric. Great, thank, thank you. Thank you, senior writer Daniel Turnaman. I'm Cara Suboy, CNET.com. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.